I'm uh, David Nicholas Wilkinson and I'm the producer, director, presenter and co-writer of the first film and it's taken me 20, oh no, it's taken me 33 years to get here. And uh, these two cameras are replicas that are in Army Mills Museum and we were very grateful to them because we can actually dissect them and take them apart because obviously the original cameras uh, which are in the National Media Museum, you can't touch them, you have to wear white gloves and even then you've got to be a curator. But we were actually able to touch them and look at them and all the lenses and open things up, which is very important when trying to examine them and how they worked. I have to say, and I think David would say this, is that I nearly stopped the film before it even started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because in my capacity as the uh, curator of cinematography at the National Media Museum, uh, David wrote to me and said, I want to make a film about Louis Lacrasse and uh, he is the inventor of, of cinematography, etc, etc. And I said, hang on there, you, it's much more complicated than mm -hmm. that. Uh, it was really a warning to say, you've got a long trail. I don't, but I, I wrote him a very courteous reply, saying, have you thought of this? Have you thought of that? And apparently he almost, that almost took the wind out of his sails. That, that's not <laughs> what I intended to do, but I sort of say, you know, step carefully. Yes. Yes. I've learned a huge amount. I mean, I, you know, the, certainly I knew some of the pioneering um, inventors. I didn't know them all. Um, I've learned, I thought that I would be able to prove that he invented film. Well, obviously I couldn't because there were so many people all working at the same time. I also thought I'd be able to find out what happened to him and go, he killed him or he committed suicide there and again I'll just you know it's never I'm never gonna know so, so it's a total mystery yeah absolutely a total mystery but it's been the most enjoyable film I've ever worked on I've worked on over 100 films um, in 45 years I've been a professional in this business and by far the most enjoyable so I'm gonna be sad when it goes well, I knew precious little, um, except that when I was nine years old, um, I was in third grade, and uh, the, our teacher was telling us about Thomas Edison and was going on and on about how he was an inventor, and we were reading a little book about him. And so I went home, you know, telling my parents what I'd done at school that day, and I said, yes, we talked about Thomas Edison, and he invented the motion picture camera. And my father said, no, he didn't. <laughs> And so he told me the story, you know, as much as a nine-year-old could understand. So I go back to school the next day, and I'm just so excited. I can't wait to tell everybody that my great-great-grandfather invented the motion picture camera. And when I did, the teacher said, sit down. <laughs> sit down, Laurie. That's really? a lie. She, it just, it was like, that was, well, you know, again, no one had heard of the Prince. Everyone had heard of Edison. So it, it was one of these, like, you know, far out there, you know, claims. Mm -hmm. And I can understand why the teacher would say that. The, the Prince was working in Leeds and we sort of assume that he worked in isolation because he disappeared and his, his ideas died with him. But it's, it's not impossible, it's not unreasonable to, to explore the idea that his work was talked about, got out to, to, to a point where other people in Yorkshire slowly built um, a, a film industry here, yeah. which is quite surprising. Yeah. And it's so, um, I think the film raises a lot of questions and begins a dialogue perhaps. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, I kind of vaguely knew that I had an, an inventor relative, again, didn't know exactly where he fit in history until um, about 1985 when Chris Rollins came and, uh, and contacted my parents and uh, contacted my father and uh, did filmed at our home and also my parents came to Leeds and filmed uh, actually a reenactment of Leeds, um, Leeds Bridge scene. Right. And that was, uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, what they told me, my brother came. I was unfortunately very pregnant with my son, oh, so okay. I couldn't well, make it. When I heard the story from David Wilkinson, who was really a monomaniac about it, he could hardly wait to get his hands on it. He wanted to interview everybody he could. He chased them down in the United States, where I originally come from, and he's done an amazing job, I think, to get it together, and it's already winning awards. Yeah. Uh, and for us from the council, I mean, we're, we're looking to, to make a bid for the, the city of culture and to have something like this, you know, originating in Leeds, you know, film starting in Leeds, is fantastic. And kind of what, what David's done is really kind of set the ball rolling. Uh, I'd like to welcome you uh, this evening to this very special presentation of the first film. Uh, it's a detective story, it's, a, it's an archaeological story, it's a historical story. 
And it roots the very first days of cinema back here to this city, to this region, to that particular pioneer who, until David really began on his quest, was largely a footnote in the pages of film history.